problem 5D on page 179. Um, <laughs> everybody loves this. A 70 kilogram stunt man is attached to a bungee cord with an unstretched length of 15 meters. He jumps off a bridge spanning a river from a height of 50 meters. When he stops, the cord has a stretched length of 44.0 meters. If you, now, we're treating this, the uh, stuntman as a point mass. Disregard the weight of the bungee cord. Assuming the spring constant of the bungee cord is 71.8 newtons per meter, what is the total potential energy relative to the water when the man stops falling? We have both potential, and, potential energy due to gravity and potential energy due to elastic force here. Whee! Yay! <laughs> okay. So, we've got our, our little bungee guy, and we'll make him a point mass. There's our stunt man. So, he, the unstretched length of the bungee cord was 15.0 meters. <coughs> when he stops, it's 44 meters long. And. That leaves him, we should make that a little bit longer for scale. So that leaves him how far above the water? Six meters. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to write this equation. Total potential energy is equal to the potential energy due to gravity and potential energy elastic, right? And we're concerned with the moment that he is here. I'm sorry. That's... We're concerned with the moment where he's at the bottom of his travel path on that bungee cord, where he's six meters above the water. And it says relative to the water. So what's our zero mark? The water surface. Could we choose the bottom of the river? Sure. Could we choose the center of the earth? Sure. Um, water's a nice traditional zero mark. So hence we have our, our six meter gap there. So let's deal with his potential energy due to gravity first. We know that potential energy due to gravity is equal to what? MGH. Just MGH. So peg is the easy one. Mass, gravity, height. Um, his mass is given to us, and we know gravity, and the height above the water is given. Okay, that one's out of the way. Let's look at the potential energy elastic. So what's that one? One half k. One half k x squared, where x is, is what? The amount of deformation. Okay, so x is the amount of deformation. So how much deformation do we have here? X equals 44.0 meters minus 15.0 meters. Okay, so 20 x is 29.0 meters. Okay, um, K is a given. K was given to us as 71.8 newtons per meter. Fancy name, like, or no, it's the, the units are newtons per meter. Yeah. Okay. So, potential energy total is given by MGH plus one half K x squared. PE total equals. 
His mass was 70.0 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times his elevation above our zero point, 6 meters. And 0.5 times 71.8 newtons per meter times 29.0 squared. Terrible crowding there, sorry about that. So our MGH gives us 20 times 9.81 times 6 gives us 4,120.2 and our potential energy elastic, 29 squared times 71.8 times 0.5 gives us 30,191.9, and this is of course in joules. So add those two together. We get the total potential energy. Of 3412.1. We can have three sig figs. So 34,300 joules of potential energy. Okay. Pretty straightforward, pretty clean, pretty neat. Um, assigned our numbers 1, 2, and 3 on 5D.